Hey guys, Matt from Eastwood. We're here in my home garage talking about some of my favorite Eastwood products. So today what we're talking about is actually an accessory for a tool that you may have. If you have an air chisel, rivet gun, or an air hammer of any type that has this little uh, spring type fastener set up on it, this air hammer drift pin set that comes with six different hardened drift pins has been a lifesaver for me lately. Uh, it attaches really easily like any of your air chisels, rivet attachments, anything that fits in. It's the same way where you basically slide it in and it fits around and it is held in like that. This works really well for helping to get out stuck fasteners. I've been using this a lot for saving old hardware. I work on a lot of these uh, antique Fords where I want to save some of the original hardware that came with them uh, because it's hard to get the old style hardware. So what I'll do is use these uh, drift pins to knock out stuck fasteners. I will put the, take the nut off and uh, turn it back on just a couple of threads and I will use the drift pin with a size that is just a little smaller than the opening in the nut and I will use that to drive the bolt out of the stuck, you know, wherever it's stuck and it will save me from when I normally would swing a hammer, you always end up missing, damaging the threads and a lot of times you'll wreck the hardware. So by using this to knock out uh, stuck bolts, it's really helpful. I've also been using it when taking apart old suspension parts that get really stuck. Sometimes you will have to heat them with a torch to actually knock them apart. Instead of trying to get your hand in there with a, a punch and swinging a hammer, you can actually take one of these uh, drift pins that's the correct size and drive it out through while it's still hot and it will help you uh, from swinging a hammer and getting your hands too close to the hot area that you're heating. Uh, one last area that I really like to use these on is hinge pins. Getting the hinge pins out of an older vehicle can really be a bear and it's really tight and tough to get a hammer and chisel in even if you want to swing and try and get that out and sometimes depending on the vehicle some of the hinge pin tools won't fit your vehicle. So what you can use uh, is these drift pins. You can find one that fits the size that you need and you can actually drive it up through and it will fit up through the hinge and you can actually hammer it out or at least get it to a point where you can get a pair of pliers on it and wiggle it back through. That's all, all I have for this one. I hopefully you guys found this useful like I did and you can find these and other tools by clicking the link down below. You can visit eastwood.com to get all the tools you need. Do the job right.